Hey Flosstube, Ashley here, Buggy Stitcher on YouTube, Shlizum underscore Buggy Stitcher on Instagram, coming to you guys with an unboxing video. I'm so excited to get back to the unboxing videos. <laughs> They've kind of been on hold while I've been working on my crazy whip parades, but I'm super excited, especially to get started with this one. This was an, is, this one is an unboxing for our friend, Natalie. Uh, she has a wood burning needle minder, um, not really a shop, but um, you can like send her an order and she'll like make you some. So I'm super excited to show you guys what we have started. Um, I will go ahead and post her channel name right here. Well, her Instagram name right here. It's Craft the Easy Hands. I will also leave all of her information in the description box down below in case you guys are interested and want to send her some inquiries. So let's go ahead and dive right in. First of all, this packaging is adorable. <laughs> it's um, it's cute little succulent um, package. So that's super cool. And then. So here, here's the little packages. Um, cute little hearts and like a little drawstring bag. So she makes needle minders and the needle minders that she makes are actually wood burned pictures of your pets, which are awesome. So I'll tell you a little bit of backstory about my pets as we unbox these. So um, here is the little tag that she's made. Little dots, we got like a little, th um, little holder thing and then here is my kitty cat <laughs> so she wood burned these and that's awesome so this is the fat bean <laughs> uh she let's see we found her in 2010 in the wheel well of a car and um she's a black cat and we found her like the day after halloween which is kind of crazy um so she actually um, created this this picture using a picture that I sent her of my cat so let me find the picture that I sent her really fast and I'll show you for reference what she used to wood burn which is just so cool how I mean I could never <laughs> I could never do this all right so here here's my kitty cat and here is the wood burning of the needle minder isn't that crazy? It's like so close. It's awesome. So we're gonna test these out later in the video, but next I'm gonna show you my other needle miner that she made me. Um, so the other animal that I have, other than of course my chickens, I didn't have them at the time, um, is one of my blue tick coon hound. Uh, she is named Daisy. And <laughs> this is the total, she got the floppy ears and everything. It's so hilarious. Um, so my dog, is this doggy? So there's my blue tick coonhound Daisy. And here's the picture. It's just so close. It's it's absolutely amazing. I can't believe she did these by hand. So um so the magnet um behind looks like it's pretty strong. It's a really I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show this on camera. Um so here is the magnet. There's no sharp edges, it's completely like rounded. Let's see if I can get it to zoom in on that. So it's rounded and it's really thick. It's a really thick magnet. And like I said, I'm just glad it isn't, um, it's not sharp or anything. And I'm touching it. It's not leaving any sort of black residue or anything. The needle minders, um, let me see if I have any candy. The needle minders that I get at the dollar store, um, look like this and the other side is a magnet and when I first get them um, if I rub rub them I, like I have to rub them off on clothes basically because they leave a black residue until I wipe it off um, and these ones have this has no black residue and it's it's super soft so here oh and really strong holy cow that's cool um, but anyway so here's here's Daisy doggy and I'll take this one off the little tag. Here's the the black bean, the fat bean. <laughs> poor poor bean. Her real name's Baby. <laughs> um, so here's the whole thing. It's yeah, the wood is smooth all the way around. It's cute little. It's kind of like a button shape. And yeah, let's go ahead and test them out. So I'll test. Well, they apparently stick to each other really well. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Um, anyway, so we're gonna try them out on a stamped kit really fast. See if they do good on a stamped kit. 
I'm not worried about it at all. It feels like it's extremely strong. So here's my bean. Here's a needle and it works great. Um, as soon as I put it down to the bottom of the needle, it goes straight to the middle. It kind of like pops up, which is super cool. Um, I don't know if these ones do that. I feel like, let's see if it'll zoom in. Yeah, it, mine just kind of stay. Well, I guess it kind of pops up to the, the middle a little bit. But yeah, so um, let me try it on, I'll try Daisy on a Counted because Counted is, um, a little floppier, I guess. So here is, ooh, here's Daisy Doggy on my counted. And it's not really, it's not affecting, it's not affecting anything. It's, I mean, my, my fabric is still tight and everything. So that's awesome. Anyway, thank you so much, Natalie, for sending these over for me to review for you. I really appreciate them and they're, they're, they're amazing. <laughs> Great job. If you guys are interested, go ahead and um, send her a message on Instagram. Again, I will leave her, um, her channel name was in the previous, earlier in the video. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> also in the description box down below, uh, send her an inquiry if you are interested in these needle minders and then I'm sure she'll talk to you about all the details and then you guys can send pictures of your pets and everything. So thank you all so much for joining me. I really appreciate every single one way one of you. I hope y'all stay safe, stay warm, and take care. Bye!